Hello everybody! In this video, I will show you how to use Blender and Sapling add-on to make animated tree and send them to Vray for SketchUp. Mm, Blender is free and the Sapling add-on is free. You don't have to spend thousands of money to use Speed Tree. I don't mean they are not good; they are industrial standard. But, uh, uh, for example, if you want something. A background tree, a background animated tree, and you don't want to spend thousands of money uh, to make them. So I think Blender will be a, a perfect substitute uh, for this uh, expensive software. So uh, let's get started, and uh, I will show you step by step how to make it. Uh, first. I will hit Ctrl L and U, and you can find in this add-ons panel, uh, in the categories, and there is Add Curve, and you can find Sapling Tree Generator. So, just check on this box and save user settings. And in the 3D viewport, I hit Shift A, and um, in the curve, I choose Sapling Sapling Tree Generator. The curve object in here. Uh, you can uh, you can tweak these settings. Uh, if I hit bevel, you can see uh, this curve are beveled. But uh, Blender Alembic exporter uh, cannot uh, handle curve object very well. So uh, instead of using beveled curve, I will use a mature mesh. I will check use armature and the make mesh. And uh, in these settings, uh, these two settings, you can change uh, the shape of the tree and how many branches. Uh, uh, I I I won't talk much about these two settings because you can see uh, you can check out lots of uh, videos on YouTube introducing sapling add-on. And uh, instead, I will. Use my uh, preset uh, made before. It is a palm tree. Uh, in the leaves uh, settings, I will check show leaves. In the animation, uh, animation, I will choose. Uh, I will check a match animation and the leaf animation. So when you hit Alt A. You can see the tree is moving. So the next part, uh, we will uh, what we will do is to UV unwrap both the uh, branches and the leaves. So I will hide my leaves, and uh, this is branches. So UV unwrap may be irritating or daunting. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, I think it's pretty easy for this for this mesh. It is not complicated. Uh, first, I will apply the skin modifier, and I will tap into this tree. And if you choose one vertex and hit L, it will select all all the mesh linked. Uh, linked uh, with each other. Uh, it means they are very independent from each other. They are not glued to each other. Uh, they are so called loose parts. So what I do, what I will do is hit Control, uh, hit Alt Shift, and uh, choose one direction. And I select the edge loop uh, of this mesh, and I will hit Control E and the mark seam. For the rest of the part, I will speed up the uh, video. Uh, this is boring.
All right, we are almost ready. So I will drag this viewport and change it to UV image editor. And I will hit A to select all and hit U and unwrap. So I will load my texture. It is from Polygon. Polygon.com And to see, clearly see what happened, I will change from uh, viewport shading solid to texture. So you can clearly see what happened. Uh, I will unwrap again. And if you hit Control Tab, you can UV select mode, you can choose which uh, select mode to use. I will use uh, UV Island select. So I just choose uh, the same direction UV Island and rotate minus degree. And for this part, I will use the same technique. It is 90 degree this time. So they are on the same direction. We are almost here. So the rest of the part is you can scale a UV island. So let's see. Let's see. So I think uh, it is perfect. It is perfect. You can hit Control 2 to add a subsurface modifier. And for this part, you can hit Control R to make an edge loop. So let's check it out. I believe some part of the texture may have some distortion, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay, I think, because uh, they are used in a very far background. Uh, you can hardly see them. Maybe I will scale up a little bit. I think. Maybe scale down a little bit. Cool. So the next part is the leaf. <laughs> if you hit uh, the mesh data, you can already see there is a leaf UV. So I will load another map. It is for palm tree. Oh, sorry. Okay, so all I need to do is to load, rotate 90 degrees and scale it. Scale it to a appropriate size, I think. This might be, might be correct. All right, I think this one is good. So we are ready. This is our palm tree. <coughs> and I will save it. It is always a good idea to to save it. So the next thing I will do is to select uh, these two object. One is branch, one is leaves. Alright, alright. And I will export my tree to with Olympic file, with Olympic format. Sorry for my bad English. And in here you can choose the start frame, the end frame. Okay, uh, I forget to apply my subsurface modifier. Uh, okay, 
shall save it. Okay. And in here, I will change the end frame to, for example, 120 frame. And uh, in here, I will choose selected objects only. We select uh, our uh, tree mesh and leaves, right? And we won't export hair and particles. So I will hit export. Let's see what happened. Yeah, it's here. It, uh, it is about uh, 1.56 gigabytes. And let's all right. Uh, I will open my SketchUp. Oh, holy crap, it's a long wait. So we are here. So I will import our Olympic file. Really smooth. So I will scale it up a little bit. Twenty. Okay, so we begin to texture it. There are two materials. Uh, this this material is for for the branch. So I will load the bitmap and texture placement. You should change it to zero. Yes, it's working all right. So, next part is our leaves. In this texture placement rollout, the UV, UV channel should be set to zero. Let's see. Yes, that's definitely what we want. So the next part, we just uh, add a thing and uh, render output. I will change. I will change it to a very very small. Uh, output size, for example, to 600 and quality is very, very low and cha uh, change uh, image file output path to, for example, I will animation, I will use this uh, file holder. Okay, so animation. Yes, entire animation frame range 120. That's about 4 seconds. And I will hit render. And in this part, we can see. They are moving, right? Sorry for my bad English again, but I just feel so great.
So the V ray is running like a hail, pushing like a hail. So I will end this video and hope that you can find it useful and helpful. And thanks for watching, and see you next video.